A wide range of other probes are compatible with the TechVPI probe interface, including single-ended active probes, differential probes, power rail probes, current probes, and even optically isolated differential probes. You can further expand your system visibility with digital channels. With the MSO option, you get a 16-channel logic probe. When you plug in this logic probe, you can activate digital channels by simply touching the D15 to D0 button. Here we're looking at eight digital channels, and the badge down here indicates activity on each of my digital channels. With MagnaView, you can sample at up to 8.25 gigasamples per second on every digital channel. Unlike traditional SWEP spectrum analyzers, the capture bandwidth of the 3 Series MDO is exceptionally wide at up to 3 gigahertz. Usual spectrum analyzer-like controls are found in the horizontal menu where I can set my center frequency, span, and RBW. In this case, I'm going to set my center frequency to 2.4 gigahertz, and I'll set my span to 10 megahertz. You can quickly and accurately decode serial buses with the 3 Series MDO. To get a bus view, I will select bus 1, and I'm going to tell it I want to look at I squared C and set my thresholds. And you can see that I'm now getting decoded serial bus information here. I'll move this bus down here so it's easier to view. And we can see addresses and data packets and such going by. Beyond simply decoding the bus, we have the ability to trigger on packet-specific content going by on the bus. To do that, I would go to the trigger menu, select bus as my trigger source, and let's say I want to trigger on reads or writes to address 50. So I'll enter 50 and close my menu, and you can see that we are now triggering on reads and writes to address 50. If we wanted to look at more, we can scale out and see a longer period of time and another way of viewing this packet information is with what we call a results table. With a results table, if I select bus 1, you can see all of the packets that are being acquired in each acquisition laid out in a tabular format for easy viewing. The optional AFG can generate a wide variety of signal types and has performance comparable to a standalone function generator at a fraction of the cost and it's built right into the scope. Signals are delivered through the 50 ohm output on the rear of the scope, and in this case, we're routing it to channel two. To use the AFG, simply double tap on its badge. As you can see up here under waveform type, there's the wide variety of waveform types we support. On channel one, I have captured a intermittent runt pulse, so what I'm going to do is select arbitrary waveform type, and load waveform from channel one. Let's go ahead and do that. And if you'll recall, I said that we were bringing the AFG output into channel two. So I will turn on channel two and we will do a single acquisition here. And you can see that we have faithfully recreated the input from channel one playing out the AFG and captured on channel two. With the optional power analysis package, it's easy to make end-to-end -end power supply measurements. Making power measurements is just as easy as regular measurements. To do so, go to the measure menu, select the power measurements panel, and in this case, we wanna look at power quality. Once we've selected it, you'll see we get a new badge in the results bar indicating things like true power, reactive power, apparent power, and many other useful uh, pieces of information. In addition, we can even do harmonics analysis on the AC input. Moving on to the switching section of your power supply, you can also take switching loss measurements. 
and automated ripple measurements make it easy to check the outputs of your supply. When you register your 3 Series MDO, you get a license for free access to a trigger frequency counter and an integrated DVM. All of the functions I've talked about in this section can be configured in a new instrument or they can be added later. You can even upgrade bandwidth. So you can buy what you need today and add performance and capabilities as you need them in the future.